Expedition Orpheus, Recruitment Proceedings, Interview A62, Transcript Date, the 27th of November, 3047, Subject, Johnny Stelmacher, Conductor, Adept New 13, Elisabetta de Ruin. Your record shows you as still wanted for desertion by the Draconis Combine Mustard Soldiery. Your resume shows 10 years as an aerospace instructor at the University of Alpharats in the Outworlds Alliance. These images are an interesting dichotomy. How would you reconcile them in the eyes of our blessed order? Oh, my. I see you are a quick one, lady. I like that. The faster you go, the farther you'll get and all that, ne? The truth is, there is little to reconcile. Sometimes a man comes to crossroads and has to make a choice. I made the right one, that is all. Although... Sometimes I wonder if I made it, perhaps, too late. The position you are applying for is squad commander attached to the Jacob's Ladder, a Union-class vessel itself attached to the Paracelsus, an invader class. There will likely be only two fighter craft assigned to your mission corridor. This levels a tremendous amount of pressure onto your shoulders as sole escort to the flotilla. Tell us, what experience do you have that prepares you for such responsibility? I have seen Ronin ships on fire in the orbit of Rasselhag. I've seen the boundless light sort a 16 slayers on an interception mission. I was on the losing side of that war, and the wrong side of that sortie. Yet here we are, chatting quite amicably, sipping space tea. You keep referring to my record. Perhaps if you were to take another look, you may notice that I clocked in over 1,500 combat hours during my tour of duty. An, unidentif an unidentified vessel lies in wait at a star and hails you immediately after jump. The message is his demand to lay down arms and prepare for boarding. They quickly dispatch small craft, but no fighters, and appear to be mostly unarmed merchant-class jump ship. You have no backup battery, and the captain is unwilling to risk a hot load from the KF drive in order to jump out. What do you do? I've always for the order to sortie, sipping space tea all the while. Once ordered to sortie, I will follow orders as long as they do not involve indiscriminate attacks on civilian targets. What, were you expecting me to go out there and fight on the entire jump ship class vessel? In recharge cycle, at an uncharted star, your captain dispatches you for a week survey while you wait. Your survey turns up what is unmistakably a Star League-era vessel, in stationary orbit around the desolate planetoid. It does not respond to hills, but shows active power and sensors. What do you do? I will leave it the hell alone, and burn to my own vessel. In a roundabout, sneaky sort of way, so they cannot trace my return vector. The crew for your branch of this operation is likely to have a broad range of ethnicities and nationalities constituting it. Do you feel this to be a detriment or benefit on a mission of this duration and level of enclosed proximity? There is a great deal of nationalities and ethnicities in this universe, and I think this is a good thing. It is, however, important that these people are able to set aside their difference and tolerate one another. Their diversity and uniqueness is useful to the expedition setting up for unknown shores of the universe. However, political disagreements may rear in most inopportune moments. Just as everything else in this universe, it is neither wholly good nor wholly bad. There is a lesson in there, I think. Very impressive, Professor Stelmacher. We will contact you soon. Thank you.